What would the music be without sounds?
like I've been here. What's up, Mr. J? You know what I'm saying? Better known as Joe Jackson. You know what I'm saying? We up in here, my business records, man. 2008, forever we gon' skate, fam. And the industry is watching me, I used to be broke And the racks on the property, got a little better now Never did settle down, I can still get around Show them how we get down, all in the club And my be in the background, yeah, be strapped down Guessing all the act now, pop a little bottle With the models in them hood cats, break it down to the floor I be real good with that, snap two times Bring it back to the town, yo, y'all come just hit the ground Let them all see the smoke coming up the trucks Now the radio is playing it, lead to the side And I can hear them all saying it, Cause drive by We clap your system, why you playing with the scam God be with them, on to rest large Now we move with stars, five star G the rules that lead in scars. That's true, be known to spit pain every time I touch a microphone and it's on with you. Well, I feel that, uh, I feel very, very good. Uh, we're celebrating a person who has lived 81 years, Mr. Joseph Jackson, uh, which in itself is a milestone mm -hmm. for most people, and who gave us the, one of the greatest singers and entertainers that the world has ever known, the Jackson family, Michael Jackson. And it's such a thrill that people like myself uh, can be involved with uh, uh, the Jacksons and show them as a representative of all the fans like myself who have loved the Jacksons over the years and they sing ageless. Yes, they do. Uh, they <laughs> like they never get old. <laughs> they never get old. It's an interesting thing. I was on a plane on my way to visit the Jacksons and one of the stewardess um, said she was so sorry about Michael's passing. Mm -hmm. And she said, I've had a crush on Michael and I was very, and I, I thought, I said, wow, she's almost 50 years old. And she says, yeah, I grew up with him. And then I realized that Michael would have been, was, would have been 51. Yeah. But the thing that was so interesting is her daughter, who was 13, had a crush on Michael, too, because she thought Michael was her age. So oh, wow. it's an amazing thing when you can reach across generations and give us music that's timeless. Yeah. Michael was a musical genius. But remember, the one who gave us Michael uh, was Joseph Jackson, yes. and without Joseph Jackson, there would not have been a Michael. And uh, uh, the discipline that was instilled in Michael that made him the great uh, musician that he was stemmed from his father. And uh, it's so interesting that I was talking to very uh, close friends of Michael who have known him for years, and they would say that Michael would practice one move a thousand times. Wow. And Joe would say, Michael, one more time, one more time, until Michael could move very fluidly without even thinking about it. Yes. That was a result of discipline and, uh, 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 and, made, and gave us one of the greatest entertainers. And without that, uh, we never would have had that musical dream yes. if it wasn't for Joseph Jackson and Katherine Jackson and the Jackson family. Yes, that yes. is so good. Also, I have one for you all. Do you okay. do this all the time? Do you uh, always no. have these? No, no, I don't do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. It's like, man, it's very new to me, but you yeah. seem so calm. You're looking good. I appreciate the interview. Okay, listen, very happy to give it. Uh, I do uh, feel calm. Uh, uh, I thank the Lord for that. Uh, and it's always very calming when you're around friends who share uh, the same love for a family who has given us so much. So it's almost like a family reunion. Yes, yeah. that's what yeah. Yeah. Family to reunion. Say. Family reunion. Thank you so much. Listen, thank you. Yourself, sir, are also a living legend. So tell us tonight what the importance of being here tonight at this living legend extravaganza means to you tonight. Well, I, you know, I really didn't know there was uh, any importance other than the fact that uh, my friend Marshall Thompson's birthday party, and so See? I came to honor him, even though I'm leaving first thing in the morning. I oh, thought no. I would get by here and uh, 
and uh, say happy birthday. So tell me, one of your favorite memories of you and your friend Marshall? One of my favorite memories? Yeah. Favorite memories? When I took the shot lights on the road, before they had the big records and what have you, and uh, the first night that uh, they made the kind of money they made, they had never made money like that before. No real money. <laughs> they sit on the floor counting it over <laughs> and over and over. <laughs> yeah. Marshall will probably tell you about that. Well, that's yeah. excellent. It's a wonderful having yeah. you here tonight. And so we just want to thank you for talking, to take time to talk to us a little bit. My and pleasure. so we're going to run into you later. Maybe we can get you and Marshall together on camera. You can Maybe so if I'm here, I'll certainly be glad. sitting here with the legendary Mr. Herb Kent. Herbie, baby, how are you doing tonight? Okay, how are you doing, Jamie? I'm doing great tonight. Tonight is not only a celebration of birthdays for Mr. Joe Jackson and for Mr. Marshall Thompson. Tell me some of your favorite music from the Shy Lights. Oh, my God. Have you seen her? Uh, let me be the man my father was. Uh, what's that thing about the dog they do? Uh, Toby. Toby. <laughs> that, that, I, I got, it's either it's either a, to, a dog or a lady. I'm not sure. I think it's a, do, uh -oh, think it's a dog. Oh, we're not gonna touch that one. <laughs> we're not gonna touch that one. Uh, I think it's a dog. The coldest days of my life. Oh yes. Yeah, and there's one called the grizzly bear. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. Tonight they have themed this birthday celebration, a night of living legends. Tell me what being a living legend means to you, being in the music industry as long as you have, interviewing some of the greatest stars. Who are some other great legends that you've met oh my goodness you know um, uh, fortunately I can get up every day uh, every time I go to the radio station it's a brand new challenge for me I've uh, talked and hung around with Smokey Robinson Eddie Kendrick uh, Tyrone Davis Johnny Taylor Bill Withers uh, it goes on and on and on uh, just just so many the emotions of course, the Shy Lights. Uh, let me see, Garland Green. He's out. Of, he's out of Chicago. Uh, the stylistics, the, the dramatics. Oh, some <laughs> of everybody. Yes, some of everybody. Oh, they, oh, they, oh. You know, I could just sit here and just keep going on and on and on. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of them are like personal friends because we've come through a whole lot together, and I've interviewed them, and. Um, kind of hung out with them. It's kind of fun to hang out with them, especially like the emotions in L.A. when I go there. Philip Upchurch, the guitarist, I like to hang with him in L.A. when I go. And it's just, uh, you know, just a so, lot of fun. So being in, in the music industry, and music really transcends time. And so we are also here tonight as a fundraiser for the Michael Jackson Museum, one of the greatest of all times. Um, tell me a little bit about some of your favorite memories with Michael Jackson, playing his music. Okay. My favorite memory with Michael Jackson 
uh, dates back to the 70s. I mean, I can give you a couple of things, but this is the one that's... Well, when I first met the Jackson 5, I had this nightclub called the Times Square, and um, I had to tell this story delicately. And they just begged to come over and sing. So I said, okay, so... You know, I'd like to have a thousand kids every Sunday. How can I tell you this? I never saw them that first time because I had a girlfriend in, in my back office and we're leaving it that, okay? <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> fade to black right there. <laughs> I, heard, I heard that they had come and left and that the kids liked them. Mm -hmm. uh, the best memory though was I was on the air at WVON. I got, it was a normal day and uh, they had moved me to middays for some reason. So I'm on the air talking. The door burst open and in comes the Jackson 5, minus Jermaine Jackson. They were hotter than hell. And they were in Chicago on a tour and they couldn't tell people where they were going because they were that hot. They would not be able to move. So they came to the radio station to be interviewed. And I had to catch my breath. They were all there, Michael Jackson, Tito, uh, the, the other brothers and so everybody got moving microphones around and setting everybody up in the studio and I'm saying oh my god oh my god and I'm getting it together so the first thing I did was introduce everybody I said ladies and gentlemen believe it or not the Jacksons are in the studio and I said hi Tito hi Herb uh, hi Marlon hi Herb hi Michael hi Herb <laughs> so it <laughs> <laughs> that distinctive voice, distinctive yeah, voice. Yeah, I would never forget that. You know, and it just kind of took my breath away, but I just kept on talking. And uh, they, were, they were there for a couple of hours. We recorded that session. I don't have a clue to where that recording is. It would be worth big money oh, today yeah, if definitely. I could find it. Yeah, definitely. So that's a... And, and then the last time, I went to uh, L.A. I had a friend that lived there that worked in a recording studio. And we went to this studio, and Michael Jackson was there, but he had so many bodyguards, and there were so many um, uh, separate studios. I never saw him, but what I did see was that famous black van that he had. They had this black van, it was very famous, and it was parked outside the studio with the motor running. Ostensibly, if anything was going to happen, they were going to rush him to it, so I never saw him. But it was the weirdest thing to, to be in there and know that the man was there, and he, and he was real famous. I wanted to see him, but I'm scared to ask. So. Well, tonight, um, we also have found out that uh, Marshall Thompson and Mr. Joe Jackson have started a new record label, and so we have several of the artists that will be here tonight, so we look forward to see if there will be some legends in the making here tonight. We want to thank you, Mr. Herb Kent. We're going to come back to you later after the show and see if you see any Michael Jacksons in the making. So we want to thank you for your time here, get some of that good food, and we're going to have a great time here tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're here right now at the uh, Jackson event. Uh, with uh, Mayor Rudy Clay. You know one thing about Rudy Clay, there's a lot happening in Gary now. I just heard what the government is doing with the city. They're going to make it? Well, first of all, uh, uh, our United States Senator Evan Bayh right. and the President of the United States have come together to make Gary a model city. Exactly. Yeah. Wh which means that Gary will be the number one city in the country as relates to urban cities shining in America and all over the world. So I'm happy about that. You know, a lot of people aren't aware of the progress that Gary's made since uh, the mayor has been in office. You'll see a tremendous change in the economic uh, quality of Gary shortly with just that project alone. But there's some other great projects coming along with the uh, Jackson. Right. In fact, uh, as it relates to the Jackson family, I must say this to make it really clear, that Joe Jackson came into Gary, Indiana last year before Michael passed. And uh, uh, his mindset was to have a Jackson Family Museum. And uh, of course, with Michael passing, uh, the world's greatest entertainer, uh, Gary's favorite son. Uh, uh, and so now we're just enhancing that and making that happen. And Gary's a place to make it happen because, you know, Michael said a long time ago, uh, 2300 Jackson Street, always right. home. Always home. That's right. Always yeah. home. Always. Yeah. always. Right. Always home, always right. home. Exactly. And 2300 Jackson Street is located in Gary, Indiana. So we're going to make it happen. 
You know, this is a fantastic thing. I'm looking forward to excitement because, you know, me being a Gary boy as well, Man. we're looking forward to Gary just blowing up in the whole world, just looking at us and seeing what we're going to do. And, Mayor, we just thank you for coming out tonight and wishing uh, Joe Jackson a happy birthday and along with Marshall Thompson. Well, yeah, Joe Jackson. Marsha and I have been friends a long time, and Joe just a great, great soul, uh, raised a great family, uh, and uh, he did it in a little small house, I might add. And people don't know, that house is only 28 feet by 24 feet. Yeah. And uh, uh, he raised the world's greatest uh, entertainment family and then the world's greatest entertainer, which, of course, is Michael Jackson. So I'm just real happy about uh, the, uh, the way things are going on that Again, I'm with Mayor Rudy Clay, and thank you so much for coming out tonight. Okay, we're rolling. Eric Hansen, I'm so glad to be here with you at this party because you're the reason for the season. You are Blue Star Technology, correct? Yes, sir. I'm honored to have Mr. Jackson and Mr. Thompson as partners, and I'm honored to be in this wonderful city, and I'm honored to know the mayor and help them with the museum in any way we can. We want to bring prosperity to every city in America. We want our future back. We want our jobs back. Yes, we want to tell about. China. That's what we're talking it's about. It's time to take a hike. We're going to teach these kids to make music videos at the museum, video games, movies, and entertainment technology, and we're going to change the world. That's what Mr. Jackson wants. That's what Marshall Thompson wants. That's what the mayor and that's what the president wants. It's time to get back to work. Time to get back to work, yeah. That's what it's all about, guys. And you heard it from the number one man that can make it happen. If you don't know who this gentleman in is, he's Eric Hansen, Blue Star Technologies. To give you a simple synopsis of who he actually is, you know what Bill Gates says to computers? This is what he is to video. That's what this gentleman is right here. So thank I think you. he deserves a great round of applause. And thank we just you. thank you so much for all the energy that you're putting into making things happen, not only here, but in the world. And that's important. We want to make a difference. We want to make a change. And we want to change this back to the country it once was, the greatest country on this planet. Right. We're so proud to be here. And I'll tell you what, all we have to do is all buy American goods, help each brother, regardless of race, Religion, That's creed, and color, about. nothing matters. If you're an American, you get an American deal, and you're treated right. That's what we're talking about. Again, Eric, we're so glad to be here with you tonight and with the mayor, and we're looking forward for that a project jumping off into Gary with the museum. We know with your help, it's a done deal, right? Thank you. I'd like to say one more thing, if that? I may, Curry. Hmm? I'd like to say, just remember, when I made the first DVD in the world, Everybody told me it would never work. Wow. Mayor, I know you can do it, sir. I saw what we did. I saw what you guys did in that town. I was so proud. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Curry. All Thank right. All right. Fantastic. Again, Eric Hansen. Must Thank be the you, main man. Yes, I'm the main hey, man. Hey, I'm with the main man, right? <laughs> you know, I'm with Brian Main. He's from uh, Blue, Stars, Blue Star Technologies. What actually do you I have a European part, right? Yes, I'm, I'm the uh, executive uh, vice president for uh, European markets. Okay, fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic. You guys have got such a great, great industry now going. I mean, the things you guys are doing is unbelievable. What, what are you actually do, uh, handling over in Europe? Well, we're, we're trying to take our markets in the U.S., what we were doing in the U.S., and take it to, to Europe. We're trying to uh, uh, have the flow of profits and energy back to Europe uh, and, and uh and make some of the markets in Europe and Africa and the Middle East and and yeah. so they've hired me to come and kind of bring my talents to uh, uh, to the world essentially we've got a great we got a great company in the US we want to start taking it to the world taking our talents taking our people to the, to the world markets let me ask you one thing is it a true statement that the uh, European market is a much uh, greater uh, financial market than in, do we have here well you, We've got so many more people in Europe and, in, like I said, in the Middle East and Africa and China. There's just, you know, the world, the uh, United States is a very powerful country, but we represent a very small part of the market. So right. we would like to take our technology to the world instead of, we're, we're importing uh, um, most of our um, industry and we want to start exporting because that's what's really going to make the uh, United States great. And you're the guys going to make that export happen. So that's what we hope. That's no, right. yeah, that's, that's what, what I know. Gonna, that's why I'm with right. the yeah. main that's man. Right. All right, good. The main man. That's All right, Adam, who, who is the designer, the guy that really makes these things happen. These guys have got a great crew. Uh, Blue Star Technology is unbelievable. And what exactly do you do? It's design. Hmm. 
I used to design clothes, and um, I'm uh -huh. also a music producer. Uh -huh. A lot of artistic things, and I love it. Uh -huh. I'm happy to be here tonight, and I'm very honored. I would like to support all these actions you talk about. It's amazing. It's an incredible spiritual energy here tonight. And I'm very glad that I can put some efforts and, and bring some actions from here to Europe, back to Italy. Well, that's what we, we were looking forward to that happening because they told me so much about you and your designs and how brilliant your designs are. And we're just thankful to, that have a, to have a person like you with that type of organization. So we look forward to a lot of your work. Well, I, I'm so um, grateful to be invited to be a part of the, all this, what's going on. Incredible people. And this is the main, main thing. You know, there is a... a, a and such a great spirit here and uh, energy and I'm, I'm glad that I can be a part of uh, all this what's going on. Well we're so happy to have you here and it's Thank a great so pleasure much. meeting you and we look forward to the things you're going to be doing in Europe. Thank you. So Thank you. Much. Okay. This guy here don't really need no ex uh, introduction but I'm going to give him one anyway. This is Ward Brown. He was a great European artist and now he's into the States doing what he does best. Brown bag, correct bro? Doing our thing. Doing your thing. Doing our thing. Bringing it home now. Um, Mar Marantz Association Marantz, now, and it's right. just, it's incredible. It's well, incredible. he just signed you to the label, and uh, they, they're looking for, for a lot of great things out of you. Yeah, and I, and I know that we're going to deliver. We've uh, been working hard. We've got today Raymond Earl, he's in town, and Raymond Earl, Instant Funk. And I heard about, there. that's who's in town? He's Raymond's in town, here? He's here? You're kidding me. And we've, been, we've been working on the album together, and, okay. and uh, we're going to deliver up another last call, no doubt about it. That's a fantastic one. You've got. I, I want to want to hear you do that. I look forward to a great career from you, and Morantz is going to take you to the next level. And and we're ready to go. We are absolutely great. ready to go. Ward, we're looking forward to having you on stage shortly. We're going to uh, look forward to hearing that. Raymond, I've heard so much about your talent. It's a pleasure and an honor to meet you tonight, well, you and we're looking much. forward you uh, forward to you working with Morantz and, and bringing in some of those great hits and things that you do. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, um, out of Philadelphia, part of the Kenny Gamble Leon Huff stable. Um, originally a bass player for a group called Instant Funk back in ah, the 70s. Right. Um, that's where it all began. Worked with uh, uh, artist by the name of Bunny Sigler, who Bunny actually Sigler, brought yeah. us into the studio. Right. Um, from that point, we worked with um, the OJs, Patti uh -huh. LaBelle, Evelyn Champagne King, Lou Rawls. Um, Dexter Winesell, The Three Degrees, the list goes on and on. You and on. just work with some of the greatest talent out there. Yeah. And now I'm honored, and it's a pleasure to be here working with Ward, and I'm honored to be a part of this whole Moran's family thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to great things to come down the pike. So I'm really excited about it. You know, it's going to be a great venture. Well, let me say this. They're very excited about you as well. Uh, they're looking forward to you bringing a, uh, a great sharp tool to the table here. Great. You've got great. some talent that's mm -hmm. unbelievable, and, man, we are really looking forward to it. All right. Well, Again, welcome to Morant and welcome, welcome here tonight. Pleasure. My real pleasure meeting you. you. I'm sitting here with W. L. Little, who really doesn't need any explanation of, of who he is. Planet Hollywood, Planet, uh, Planet, uh, Star, Planet Star Planet TV. TV. Right. Sorry about that. Star Planet TV. You're going to work real closely with Morant and and bring a lot of lot to the table. Correct. Be correct. We have uh, artists that we're introducing to the label. In fact, you'll see one tonight. Uh, Passion with a brand new tune. She's a she's a star already. Just waiting I've to heard be discovered. About her, yeah, yes. yeah. That was a gorgeous girl. Was in the parade, about Billiken parade with you, correct? Yeah, yeah we're looking her. forward to hearing her. And uh, we we uh, you've been around for a long time with these artists, and it's it's I guess it's it's just the time for everything to happen. We've got some great backing. We've got everything going for us, and we so look forward to your talents that you bring to the table. Well, well, well Tommy, it's our turn. It's our turn. The key words, it's, it's our turn. Right, it's time for Chicago to come out with something great. Uh, Chicago is the leader in all areas. But uh, we're grasshoppers. Well, we're giants acting like grasshoppers. And it's time That's a good to, synopsis. It's time for us to take our rightful place in society. It, you know, it's not only Chicago. It's Chicago African-Americans. See, the African-Americans are the ones who... Uh, are leading everything. Uh -huh. Everything that the world holds dear right now, we are at the head of it. Right, right. You know, right. we're, we're, we're uh, taken back by sports. Right. 
Right. You know, you, you've done such a tremendous thing here in Chicago. I've heard the legend of you way before I met you, and it's a real uh, honor and privilege to be with you right now. But we're looking for you to take Morantz again to a new level. Yes. Because with your insight that you've got, with the talent you've got, like you said, it's our time to do it. And not only that, uh, our television station is worldwide on the web. Right, right, worldwide on the so web. So we're taking Morantz Records worldwide on a weekly basis. Oh, that's fantastic, WL. I mean, we look forward... I should for say daily. Daily, right. on a daily basis. Well, we look forward to that, and we want to get our viewers to make sure that they tune in, uh, tune into that, and, 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 and get turned on to where we're going with this country right now. Right. I think um, Eric said it all, is that... Right now, we need to take over and do what we do, just like you said. Right. It's our turn. It's our turn, finally. Um, it's our turn here uh, tonight to go up and see a great show. So let's get prepared. StarPlanetTV.com. StarPlanetTV.com. So it's StarPlanetTV.com. Uh, tune into that star, StarPlanetTV.com. Uh, and again, I'm here with W.L. Lillard. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. he's never got the time to do 